I'll put these there. The ironing today has to be done. <sighs> Wait till I get the chat up. It's a horrible, horrible rainy day today. I have got the back door open because if I don't, I'll burn up. <laughs> oh, where am I? I don't see me. I might have to close the door actually. It's getting a bit chilly. There we are. I found this. Hurry, that's always a good thing. Sounds down, that's good. <laughs> Hi, sweet Jenny. Let me see, let me see, let me get his back. What happened there? <gasps> uh oh. I've just, my whole thing just crashed. My whole thing just crashed. <laughs> Look that. I'll show you that. Good morning, everyone. Look. Rubbish. And the keys aren't working. I just got this bloody laptop and it's not working properly. Let me try again. <laughs> okay, Pip. Thank you anyway for coming in. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope it's nice where you are. Right, there we are. Let's see if this works. <laughs> it's my son's birthday today. He's 19. 19 today. I'm going to cry about it. I had my own flat at 19 and I was married at 19. There you go. Kendra, good morning to you. Goldust, good morning. KK Coco, hello. Good morning. Um, Georgia, good morning to you. Thank you very much. I'll show you his cake. Thank you, Pip. Shannon, good morning. There's my sweet M. Good morning, sweet M. Thank you very much. I'll let them know you were all saying that. Good morning, lovely Kelly. Can you see your unicorn now, Kelly? Oh my god, better show you his cake. It's from a place called the Vegan Kind. You can't see your unicorn. I can see your unicorn. Can everyone see Kelly's uniform uniform? Unicorn <laughs> next to her name. Look, there's his cake. It's vegan. It's a vegan cake. Because I wanted him to have a cake on his birthday. He's got to get a cake on his birthday, my goodness. There's my lovely open-minded. Good morning to you. Hello, sweet virus. I'm going to try a bit of his cake. Thank you very much. So, will he sleep in? That's what he's doing. It's his birthday, so if he wants to sleep on his birthday, that's up to him. <laughs> Guess what I got yesterday? My pink... I need to show you. The ironing can wait. I need to show you this. I need to show you the Pringles. Yes. <laughs> I've ate half a tub of them. I can't stop. Like the advert says. Right, I need to show you this. What I got yesterday. <laughs> I'm not bragging, I'm just showing you. I like to show you what I've got, things I've got, right? I'll show you this. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wait a minute, I've done you round. Where are we? Where are we? Wait, there we go. <gasps> oh, look. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that bad boy. Mm hmm. Yep. Now, how long do you think it's going to be in that box? <laughs> not, not long at all. It's going to be out that box very soon. My pink tree. So, anyway, I'm lagging in this. I'm still in the living room here. What, what am I doing? What's going on? I'm lagging. There we are. We have pluggies in again. There. So as soon as the, the Halloween stuff comes down, um, I'm going to close that door. As soon as the Halloween stuff comes down, the Christmas stuff's going up. Oh, there's a bit chilly there. There we are. There. I've done a bit of ironing. Yes, Em, I, I ordered it yesterday and I got it today. So I'm desperate to get it up. You know that. 
<laughs> but I'm determined to just leave it till after Halloween. But see when I'm putting it up, I'll do a live stream, right? And we can do it together. Where will I put this? I'll do a live stream. It might need to be an 18 because sometimes I swear when I put up Christmas trees. <laughs> you know, try to sort the branches and the scratch me. Yes, Jenny, I've been playing Christmas music. I got it, yes, I got it from Amazon, open-minded. Miss Aqua, good morning to you. Heather, there's my beautiful Heather. Good morning to you. Yeah, I'm doing my own, nothing interesting. And although it's my son's birthday, I'm not sure if, if his dad's coming up tonight or not, because we're actually meant to be locked down, I think. <laughs> we're actually meant to be locked down. In fact, Nicola, that's your first minister, is doing a speech today at half past twelve. I think she's going to close the gyms, and that's going to that's going to be terrible because you know what I'm like with my swimming. But scent, I'm using all different scents. This one's fig. I like my bed to smell like fig. It's actually wild fig. You know, I don't like just fig. It's got to be wild fig. And these, are, this is black cherry and nutmeg. What one's this? What one's this? This one is plum and nectarine. This one is vanilla and sandalwood. So that's the scents for today. Thank you, Miss Aqua. Aqua. Am I saying that right? It doesn't sound right. <laughs> what did I miss? Never, it's never too early. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll let them know that these were all asking for them. I woke up at half past one this morning to go to the toilet. <laughs> and he was still up. He was in his bedroom. He was having a little drink. So I took his cake and his card into him. And I gave him a cuddle and a kiss. It's the only time I get a kiss. Is I get a kiss three times a year. I get a kiss on his birthday at Christmas and a Happy New Year kiss, and that's it. I don't get a kiss any other time. <laughs> Your name is Jo. Okay, Jo, I'll remember and call you Jo. I'll remember and call you Jo. Well, good morning, Jo. I hope you're doing good. Yeah. So, we were all talking about mental health again, me and my mum. My mum's having nightmares now and stuff. And I say to her, I've been having nightmares. What's going on? It's Mercury, it's this Mercury retrograde. <laughs> yes, Joan, that's when you start, you, the, they start not wanting to give you kisses anymore. <laughs> yes. See, my birthday's a, oh, I don't really bother with my birthday anymore. There's my sky. There's my beautiful sky. Yeah, I've been getting it. I don't know. I think it's a COVID. I think it's all this COVID stuff that's making us, our mental health suffer and um, having bad dreams and stuff like that. It's, and I've not, I've been sleeping for two hours and then waking it up and then sleeping and then waking it up. So I don't know what's going on. As I say, Saturday nights is the only night I get a good sleep and that's because the Russian flavouring helps. <laughs> Yes, Pip. Oh, Sky, yes, I'm so sorry. It's all over the news here. That's, um, my thoughts go out to everybody in beautiful France just now with the terror attack. I mean, that's just, that's just horrible. That's just horrible. I've not got that. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're having four tiers. We I I don't know what I know. My where I stay is the highest. We're we're riddled with the COVID. <laughs> we're riddled with COVID in this this area. I'm surprised I've not got it because everybody's getting it. And I found there was a. TV show years and years ago called Cannon and Ball and there was a wee guy on it called Bobby Ball and he was as funny as anything 
and he passed away, I think it was either yesterday or today, he passed away with COVID. Oh my God, Sky. Do you know something? See, when I heard the news, I thought about you. When I heard the news, I thought about you. I mean, it's terrible. Oh, well, that's good. That's good that it was just a, a, like a mild cold. See, I still have the visions in my head eh, when it all first started and they took you over to it Italy and they were showing you the patients um, in Italy and the, the mucus that was, was coming out there, there. Oh my God, it was terrible. So, I still... Did that iron the other side of this? I don't know. So we'll just pretend I did. <laughs> I forget. I forget. Open-minded, I think, I think it's the schools and the universities that are spreading it. Because kids can get it and they, they don't show symptoms. And they go home to their parents and their grandparents and all the rest. And their fingers are never out of their mouth. I used to bite my nails when I was a child, so... My fingers were always in there, or up my nose, or in my ear, or something. Um, now and again, they still are. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, sometimes they do end up in their places, but... <laughs> oh, Jenny, well, I'll be hoping that everything goes smooth and she's just got a mild dose of it. Yes, this is my, my duvet cover. I iron all my, my bedding. I like my bedding all ironed. I used to iron all the towels, but I'm not anymore. <laughs> but I used to sit and do all that as well. But I mean, it takes me two hours or something to get through all this ironing, as it is. But with towels... Oh, yes, guy. Oh, um, um, I'm going to give you a cuddle right now. Right, here we go. Look, there's my arm. Right, I'm cuddling you there. This is for you, Em. Um. Big cuddle. Love your loads. <laughs> there. I hope you enjoyed that cuddle. Yes, Jenny. I'll be thinking about her. Oh, see, I, I quite enjoy my ironing. It's a... It's, it's a um, I don't know if it's therapeutic or what, but I quite enjoyed, especially because I've got all my stuff. I've got smelly stuff all around that I like to spray on clothes and things. And I always feel better once it's done. Do you know what, I, what else? I, I used to iron my knickers, but I don't anymore. That's another thing that I've, I've stopped. But I used to have to have ironed knickers and socks. It was bad. It was a, it was a compulsive thing, so, so I've stopped that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's funny, and I, I said to my mum, I said, a lot of people have been we're, we're talking in their lives and that, we're all kind of feeling the same just now, um, and my mum's not been, not been feeling the best, and my poor brother, my brother comes home today, so he does, he was away with his wife for a few days, um, a wee trip up. A place called Pit Lockery in Scotland. It's where the salmon. There's a place where the salmon jump up to to go and spawn and stuff. Um, so he's went there, and we're all thinking about him because um, his cancer. That he, he got a test before he went away, and they found twelve new lesions on his um, lungs. So that's not good. Um, so they're putting him on different medication again. And uh, we're all worried sick, obviously, we're all worried sick. See, that's that's how the other day as well, I probably had my meltdown. Because um, we're all thinking about that. But he got away for a couple of days and I looked after his wee cat. Flashy, I love her so much. And this morning she was licking my hand. And see, as I was walking away, she was running beside me, meowing, meow, like that. I was going, don't look at me when I'm closing the door on you. Don't look at your Auntie Linda. Oh, um, um, we would all hug you. We would all hug you. Yeah, it's terrible. 
I mean, it's not just our family. Everybody's going through it. My dad had COVID when it all started. And I was worried sick about that because he's got that COPD. But, Mum, I don't know if this is true or not. There's ASMR shortbread. Um, I didn't say hello to you, did I? I'm a terrible person. Good morning to you. And please, everyone, check out ASMR shortbread. She's way better than me. <laughs> Uh, my mum was saying today, now I don't know if this is fact or true, this is just a allegedly thing, right? But she said that some people are taking the virus twice. And I was like, oh, that's, that's all we need. That's all we need. It's true as my shortbread, I tell the truth. My truth teller channel, <laughs> as well as other stuff, this channel is all over the place. Thank you very much, Jenny. We're, we're, all, we're, all, we're all, um... We're trying to be happy and stuff like that, you know. But I enjoyed watching Flashy so much. And the dogs, the dogs know what I've been up to, right? See when I come home? Oh, see, there is my shortbread. Something had it twice. See, that's a worry, isn't it? That's a worry because I thought to myself, well, at least my dad can't take it again. So it is a worry. Um... What was I going to say? See, that's a, that's my that's my mind. I lose I lose my my train of thought. <laughs> I lose my train of thought dead easy. So I do. I took Sophie up yesterday. My my daughter. I took her up to see Flashy yesterday, and um, Flash had a wee sniff at her, and then she was all over her, rubbing against her and everything. It was as cute as anything. It's a beautiful wee cat. But do you know? See, as soon as the Halloween stuff goes down. That's it, the Christmas stuff's going up. I'm going to be the first YouTuber. <laughs> right? That's what I'm going to I'm going to be the first, hashtag first YouTuber to put up the Christmas decorations. Somebody will beat me. Somebody will get in there first. <laughs> Somebody will beat me. I'm going to see if I wrote that as a title, the first YouTuber. I would get hate. I would get hate. <laughs> People would hate on me for just saying that. You know? Oh, right, my dogs. Thank you, Gold Dust. Thank you so much. Uh, they know. I came home yesterday and Flashy was licking my hand and the two of them were sniffing about me. And they don't like cats whatsoever, right? They're, they're pure anti-cat, the dogs. And um, or, or squirrels or the mouse was lucky. Remember the mouse? Um, and they came in and they kind of wagged at me a bit and then they ignored me. <laughs> Thank you, Sky. They ignored me. They absolutely had turned their back on me like that. As if we know what you've been doing. Sleeping with the enemy, haven't you? Haven't you? <laughs> they, knew, they knew exactly what I was up to. Well, <laughs> have a laugh. Especially Poppy. Poppy. Poppy's usually all over me. She was like that, not looking at me. I was going, come over here and get a kiss. And she was like that. I don't even think she came into my bed last night. I think she stayed with her big brother. Yes, open-minded. I'll, I'll make sure I, sh I shout Mrs. Doubtwater for that unboxing. And I'll do it live. <laughs> Pop Poppy is a tramp. We all know that. This is a, a well-known fact in this scheme. <laughs> She's the trampiest, trampiest dog in this scheme, so she has. She enticed, I'm telling, this is the truth, right? See, sometimes, right, when she's feeling the urge. Now, Mr. Mikey's got no balls or anything, right, because he's been, seen. She'll entice Mr. Mikey to do things, and I'll, I'll give them any trouble. Stop doing that. Behave yourselves like this, right? So she looks at Mr. Mikey like that, and then she runs out into the back garden. Before I know it, they're out there in front of all the neighbours doing it. And I've got to go and break it up. And it's harsh just like that. She, she, she entices Mr. Mikey like that. It's terrible. It's terrible what I've got to witness sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Terry, good morning to you. She has, she's an absolute trap. And then P-Face yesterday. That's what Poppy's been known as. P-Face. And I kissed it as well. I, and do you know what my son pointed out? I'd done that once before. But it was Mr. Mikey, right? And he was out a W. I can't say the word. 
and um, he'd been in the bushes and stuff like that. So we got home and um, there was brown goo, right, brown goo on his side. Now, Mr. Mike has got a habit, see if he sees like like a, a fly or a spider, he'll roll on it, right, he'll roll on it. So I was like, what's all that smeared on, on Mr. Mikey? Good morning, Curly Grace. So what did I do? Dipped my finger in it and smell my finger. I went, oh, Jesus. Oh, it was death. It was absolute death. <laughs> Something had died in the bushes and he's been rolling on it. And then I thought, why did I have to... Why, why, why did I need to do that? I done it though, and I was like, I couldn't get the smell out of my nose. It was pure death. It wasn't even, it wasn't even poo smell. It was like decomposition. <laughs> so that was another time Mr. Mikey had to go for a bath. A wipe wouldn't cut that either. <laughs> Joe, why? I know why do we, why do we need to do that? I don't know. I don't, I don't know why we need to do that. What's that? smell my finger but that's a great game the smell my finger game see if he's on you and you don't know the smell my finger game right everyone here knows this game and it's a great way to mess with your family members right it's fun though it's fun it's a fun way what you do is say you're just in the kitchen making dinner or something like that right you're just making your dinner and the kids are in or your your partner's in the kitchen right wait till they're round about you right and you can see them at the corner of your eye and See, when they look at you, just go like that. Like this, right? And and look at your finger and look puzzled, right? Look puzzled and go again and can I do that? And then go like this to them, right close, smell my finger, right? And even though your finger's perfectly clean and beautiful, right? The, the reaction's always a great laugh for me. Oh, the no smelling your finger. It's great. It's a great fun thing to do. <laughs> That's how I get my kicks anyway. That's how I get it. <laughs> it's a good way to mess with them. Hmm. These are all thinking now that's that's too much blueberry. That's just too much now. Too much. Smell my finger. Where's my emoji? Where's my where where is it? If I still got my emoji here. Yeah. It still take forever to pop up. This laptop's broke. How long have I had it? How long have I... There it is. <laughs> there we go. There we are. <laughs> oh, am I buffering for everyone? Am I buffering? Why is it just blank? Here, I see what you're saying now. Um, I can see what you're saying now, Keely. I can see the finger here, right? The finger emoji. Wait a minute, I refresh this. I can see the finger emoji in this, but I can't see it on my phone. It's like a blank piece of paper. That is weird. That's YouTube for you. They've still not got in contact. My, look, my thing won't even look. Look, I'm stuck. All the technology in this house is just effing up. <laughs> Do you know what I need? I need some of the. I need some of this. No, I won't even. Will that send? See, it's just a blank piece of paper on the phone and on the computer. It's bottles of Buckfast. <laughs> What's going on with YouTube? There and back. That's me back. But I can see it. I can see it on my, my I'll show you. I can see it all on my computer. But look, well, see, there's my wee bottles and stuff. I can see it all in the computer. There's the finger. Where is the finger? There we go. Where's the Keely? Where did Keely go? I don't know, but after Kaylee's name, because she's in my wee club, you could see the our wee unicorn badge. There, there you go. It's, it's crazy. 
It's crazy in the now. It's Mercury. It's Mercury. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, Elvis, right? I'm not this guy. This is the guy I keep talking about. That he's he's just a complete horrible person, right? Done a live stream apparently last night, and the whole live stream was disgusting, talking about Rosie. So I'm going to watch that after this, and I might even comment a nasty comment. Hi, sweet ASMR craft video. Where did why is it showing up on the computer and not on your phone? The badges. I wonder if that's happened to everybody, if it's just special to meet my channel. Yes, um, you know how Harvey De Niro, that's the, the gentleman that stays down in London, really, really lovely guy. He's got a great voice and all that. Um, really, really sweet guy. He done a wee live stream this morning. He always does a live stream just saying good morning and showing us the weather in London and stuff. Um, he, he said in his live stream this morning, that he had been on talking terrible about Rosie, so I'm going to be watching that. Joe, it's the I, I can't I, now. I like everybody, right? I, I'm I'm a people liker. I, I try and find good points in everyone, and there's no good points at all in this man. Um, he's he's horrible to women. He's horrible to animals. He's he's just he's the, the, oh I can't even explain it. You'd need to see this man, but I don't want to give him any views because that's what he's after but he says the most disgusting things about women you know he doesn't see women as equal right he doesn't see women as like equal to man he only sees what women are good for one thing we all know what that one thing is and um that's it he's the king of the castle and the wife's got to you know, do everything and bow down to him. He's the king. Oh, you know, all this kind of, I'm thinking, see in Scotland, you'll be getting your balls booted, mate. <laughs> Sorry to be out there, but that's what you would get. You know, ball booted. Booted in the balls. <laughs> I know, Joe, this is weird. It's weird. It's, this, do you know, this, see me, this is me all the time. <laughs> I don't kiss on, I don't, there's no act to it or anything. This is just what I am. He's been with me all this time. I think he's known me. <laughs> and then my children come on, you know. And... Yes, he lives in a van, he poos in a Walmart bag and he doesn't even have the decency to put that Walmart bag in the bin. He dumps it on the grass for some poor, unexpected person to come along and go, oh, what's in that Walmart bag? Maybe there's some goodies in there. This particular person that he's slagging off, he stayed in her house for like four months. She put him up for four months, fed the man, gave the man booze, um, done his van up, completely remodeled his van, all the rest of it. And now he's seen the most disgusting, horrible thing. Because Rosie's a transgender lady, so she is. But Rosie's just Rosie. I mean, Rosie's just, she's just a, a lovely, lovely person. And he's so hot, he's so horrible to her. But I'm going to watch it and I'll, I'll probably leave a mean comment. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm telling you. I'll be blocked, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't think I've ever left a mean comment in these things. I can't remember ever leaving a nasty comment. Do you know that? I can't even remember. No. I have responded to mean comments on my channel. I have responded now and again. But I don't think I've ever went on somebody's channel and just... Rosie O'Kell, one of my mods find her and put her... Um, would you be able to put Rosie's channel in the chat? Um, Rosie Murph, Rosie O'Kelly, it'll be on Rosie O'Kelly. She, do you know what? He always says she's got no content, but she's got great content. And I'll tell you why. She goes about, she calls it chooching, right? And it's just like a walk about her town or Las Vegas. She walks about in places like that, downtown Los Angeles, where all the, the celebrities, stars are. 
and she's she's good at walking. Now, for me that can't walk very far, right, I would never be able to walk all these places that she goes. So when she, let me see if I can. Um, when she does these twitches, um, she's taking me places that I'd never be able to go. And it's brilliant because you feel as if you're walking with her. And um, it's, it's interesting. She takes you to graveyards. and I'm interested in that. Graveyards and... Um, all different places. Right. Let me see if I can find her. This laptop's not... I'm, I'm going to have to get my old laptop out. Right, I found her. Poor Rosie. See if you do go over, tell her that Blueberry sent you. Give her some love. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and it's, she's she's really really confident in her own body, which is wonderful. Which I think all women should be, and I'm not. I, I don't like looking in the mirror myself. It's just a fact. But women should be, and men should be comfortable in their own skin. And and she is, and he slags her. He says the most disgusting things about her. It's horrible. So I'm going to be watching that. I'm going to be watching that after this. <laughs> I'm going to get some kind of fighting thing on. What could I put on that gets me in the mood? That's what's going to be happening in this house. <laughs> My son's turned 19. I'm not happy about that, actually. I want him still to be like a wee boy like this. That he was, but it's a big man now. Yeah, I'll put on some Rocky or something like that. do 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 na 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 do 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 yeah and um, I think it's great that she takes us on these walks because like me and you wouldn't be able to walk all these places for health reasons you know and um, she takes you places and that and shows you. see like the Golden Gate Bridge right I'll probably never see that in my life. And she takes you there and shows you, shows you. And she took us to Hoover Dam the other night. Places like that that I'll never be able to go. But you feel as if you're there because she takes you all about all the nooks and crannies and, and things like that. And see when she sees homeless people on the street, she's got a heart of gold. She'll go into her pocket and she'll give them a dollar or two. You know what I mean? Just... And how can, how can he be so nasty to someone so lovely? It's beyond me, I don't know. I'm glad I don't because it's, I don't. It makes me mad, quite honestly. <laughs> I don't know another YouTuber. He's not a YouTuber now. YouTuber took these ta his channels down. Mm -hmm. Villy, good morning to you. Oh, I'm glad to help you. I'm glad to help you. You's help me. It's a two-way thing here because my chat, my videos help you, and you's help me talking to me every day. Because I'd be sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> oh, cake, vegan cake. I'll show you the vegan cake again. Chocolate celebration cake, moist and moorish. Nom nom nom. Where does it say the vegan? vegan friendly and there it is there's his cake <laughs> I'm going to try it I'm going to have a slice of it I'm going to have a slice of it I bet you it tastes really good the only thing is I paid um, as I said six pounds something for next day delivery and they didn't deliver it the next day <laughs> So, I get conned again. What can I do? They see me come and say, oh, sir, don't bother me next. Take the money off her, though. Take the money, but don't give her next day delivery. She's not getting it. <laughs> yes, it looks, it looks really good. It definitely looks really good. There's a lot of hammering going on outside. So, 
I could spray in my mouth. Ooh, my pink Christmas tree. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. I'm not even putting it away. It's staying in the living room. <laughs> oh yes, um, I love McDonald's. I thought I had a I had a Burger King not that long ago, and I, it wasn't as good as McDonald's. Even the fries weren't as good as McDonald's. So right, this is a dilemma I'm in. Right, I'm maybe taking it too far. So I've got the new pink tree, right, that's going to be out there. And I've got the big tree that's going to be in the living room, my, my seven footer. So now I've got a spare tree, <laughs> right, I've got the other tree. So I was up, while I was swimming this morning, I was thinking, I could actually put that tree somewhere else and I could have three trees. I could have a traditional, you not know how I used to have the warm tree and the cold tree. So I'm thinking all this and I'm thinking, but where would I put it? And I thought to myself, I could put it at the back door and have it in my kitchen. I've no room in my, my, my bedroom. My, my bedroom's full up with makeup stuff. <laughs> but, I mean, look, wait, wait, there's things down. See my door there? I could have it there, couldn't I? I could have a tree in my kitchen. And if we need to go out the back, we can just use the front door and go round. Eh? And that'd be, that'd be their traditional tree with the reds and the golds and stuff like that there. And then the pink tree and the... It might happen. I can see it happening, actually. I, I think it's probably going to happen. <laughs> Three trees. Then next year I'll be like, maybe we should get one for the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and then... Can you imagine that? How beautiful that be, a nice tree there. It's going to happen. It is. It's going to be a traditional tree at the back door. <laughs> and then I can just run the extension line there so it's all lit up as well. Yes, I, I love all my Christmas stuff, Joe. It makes me happy just looking at it all twinkling and stuff. Yeah, a kitchen tree. We know I need that. I think I need that in my life, a kitchen tree. open-minded i seen this house and it, it was a beautiful house right and you could tell the people had quite a bit of cash and stuff and they decorated every single room of their house the most beautiful decorations under the sun and trees in every room every single room had trees in it and it was just jaw-dropping absolutely gorgeous i'd, I'd do what i can with it what i've got <laughs> but it's going to be beautiful it's going to be lovely and as soon as the, the Halloween stuff comes down, my son will be up the loft anyway, putting them back. So that's when it will all come down. But I think we're probably going to have a tree there as well. <laughs> and that'll be nice for Christmas Day when we have our dinner and we've got the nice tree there. It's going to, it's, I'm looking forward to it. Oh my goodness. Yes, my homemade decorations. See, I like that. Oh, I am. Um, yeah, my paper chains. Me and my son sat one night and done that. That was a great um, wee thing that we done. We sat and we done hundreds of paper chains. I could put paper chains in. See, now I'm looking, I'm, now I'm thinking about decorating the, the ceiling. <laughs> Good night, sweet ASMR craft video. I hope you have um, sweet dreams tonight. I'm going to be signing off anyway because I'm going to want to watch this, uh, this um, Elvis Travels thing on Facebook. So thank you all so much for coming in um, and talking to me today. And I'll be back again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Um, we'll try and get into the weekend mood. We'll try and get some some party vibes going <laughs> right so i love you all very much have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow bye everyone mm -hmm.